Good morning, everyone. My name is Nathaniel, and this is Gone Home, part something or other. I forget what number we're on, actually. Um, so yeah, last time we left off, we got through the basement, and we uh, opened up the door leading to the main entrance. So yeah, outside of that, I'm not really sure what we should be doing right now. So uh, let's get to walking. Hope you all are doing fantastic today. I know I'm doing pretty good. Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. All right, we got the setting. It was a, it was sunny, and they were on an adventure. But they went to the the bad part of the woods, and it got dark. That's not how the sun works. The the but Daniel said. Are we scarred? So Samantha said, No, are you? They and and wheat more into the bad part. Then they sweet sweat to a part that was never there before and and there was a ship. A pirate on a sen. Samantha said, I'll be the captain and you be the fight. First fight mate. Daniel said, I captain. And they went on the pirate ship and started sailing away. Come sail. Man, this girl's got the ass. Come sail away. Come sail away with me. Let's go, Steggy. We're gonna become our own pirates. And we will find the One Piece. So yeah, I'm not sure. We're still looking for the attic key, apparently. Bicycle. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long... Oh. Okay, so that's where my parents are. I was wondering. I was wondering where they are. We'll be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on our way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still, uh, Mayo renovation. Mid renovation. Mid renovation. Never trust a contractor. Forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Uh, be good, <laughs> as I trash all the house. The entire house. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Dad. I'm an asshole. Alright, let's... Let's continue on. Sorry, Skeletor. Where's the forty dollars? Is that it? That the check? No, look at my checks. I guess someone will do it. For already, Blah. somebody already ordered pizza. Was it you, Steggy? Damn it, Steggy. Nope. You'll be fine. Blams. No, that's on. Hello? Where's the light switch? Examine pamphlet. Forestry. Good. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets for EWF uh, on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to, so her taste in music really... So that leaves me with an extra ticket. I uh, thought you might be interested. Uh... So, there's a chance my mom's cheating on my dad. Like I said, I don't think their relationship is uh, working out too well by, like... It, 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 I kind of feel... That's how I feel about it anyway. Like, um... Like, there's all, like, dad's porno mags. There's, like, the condom for extra stuff. For extra pleasure or whatever. And then... She's getting notes from other guys to go hang out. So maybe that, like, their love life isn't working out. And, um... Yeah, she's cheating. So, failing marriage, uh, Sam, I think it's Sam, or, I think her name is Sam, oh. 
Boot it out. Girl Scout. Okay. So, uh... Oh. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Okay, so, from what I've learned, parents are having a failing marriage, and they might be taking it out on Sam, or it's affecting Sam negatively. Sam got interested in another girl. The girl was also interested in her, so it was like a mutual thing. Um, uh, what do you say? Um, but then the girl joined the military, and... Uh, Sam didn't want her to. She wanted he, she wanted her to stay. So um, that caused problems in their relationship, from what I could gather. And then I, that last, like one of the things she said in there, kind of bothered me. Like she couldn't live without her, <sighs> which I'm actually kind of worried about now. That's something this game does actually really well. Um, it, I, I have, like, these feelings from the characters. Um, ask me about clown combos. Um, uh, I'm worried that she might, because I, 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 I've actually had situations, like, where I've had friends who, who would do something like that if their, if something happened to their partner, so... I can kind I can kind of relate to all of this, um, but anyways, we still have Steggy. That's good. Who needs a girlfriend when you got Steggy? Also, apparently, my dad's a failing. Like he wrote like a decent book, and then like his next book wasn't decent. an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight when you were never gonna need to have I mean you've known right I've known I've known since like she -Ra. mom and dad didn't I guess but they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker and they were like is there something we should know about you and Lonnie and so here's the thing I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. <sighs> I've also had, like, my friends go through that situation. And that also leads me to believe the worst. I am very, very worried now. Man. I hope this doesn't have a sad ending. I don't want... Oh, come on. No sad endings, please. I can only put up with so much sadness. So... Oh, god damn it. Come on. Come on, happy ending. That's all I need. Was there anything else in this secret panel? What's in here? Nothing. Nothing's always exciting. I'm beginning to think this is th there will not be a ghost in this game. Despite all the evidence of there being 
ghost stuff. Uh, what do I, what do I do? Where do I go? Oh man. Manuscript. The accidental human. No such thing. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call twice. He saved the person. Bum, bum, bum. So yeah, my dad's trying to write a book. The Accidental Perry. Oh, cut. cut for them. So, I'm guessing, I, I don't know how much, like, I think of this is like the entire house. I think I've gained access to all the house except for the, uh, the attic. Which I'm beginning to worry about because it's locked. Parents are just going to come home and see. I've destroyed the entire house. Oh, it's the lights, which I saw that's a little black line. I didn't know what it was. Is it like, is it like something I'm missing? Is there something? Can I grab this shovel or rake? Nope. Okay. I didn't want to grab the shovel or rake anyway. Ask me about the clown. No, that's not. I need to find like another trigger note or like a map. I need to find, is my map updated at all? Okay, so I am here to the guest room. Alright, so there's a little closet right there. Did I check that closet? Did I check the note on the counter? I don't know. What's this note say? A low note! Oh no, yeah. That's the amazing story. Invitation. Sand schedule working at Groundsburger on... All right, Sam. Communicate with me psychically. All right. Um, I'm gonna put a cut right here. Um, so I'll keep talking just in case I don't. But uh, but yeah. Cut now ish. Wee. Hello. Anything? <gasps> Map. Map. Oh. Oh. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up. And I was finally alone. Oh no, I'm not liking where this goes. And plus, there's this thing. I came over here. Hello! I don't know who this is. Name tag. F fucking, this is the, this is the evil ghost. This is, this is what's gonna kill me. Oh, okay. Honey snap. The sunset light in this house. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait.
God damn it. Oh, I might be beating the game right now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, man. I can't do this without Steggy. I need Steggy. Where the hell is Steggy? Before I go any further. Where did I throw Steggy? And there's also something under this couch. What is this? Examine slip. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, it's pricey. $119 for Salon Day. What, a, what is she thinking? Oh man, I can't do this. This magical. Where did I put Steggy? Oh, I put him in a box. I was gonna send him to Sam in heaven if she's in heaven. I really hope she's not in heaven. That would really suck. Come on. Let's go. Maybe she's still up there. Oh, if Sam's up there, yes. Yes. I really hope she's okay. I don't be Don't be dead, Sam. I love you, Sam. You you beautiful. You're a beautiful person. Oh, no one should ever take their own life. Life is so beautiful and amazing and as humans we can do so much. We're so amazingly beautiful. We can have ideas no one else has had. We're just which is so amazing, and everyone's amazing. You're amazing, I'm amazing. No one's not amazing, and we can do so much. Just don't, never, never, never take that one final step. Okay, let's see what we got. Come on, Steggy. <sighs> Come on, please, please, please. Please, just do the right thing. Do the right thing, please. Oh no, what's over there? I don't like these red lights, these red lights. Oh no. I will always remember what we had. I love you. Stay strong, kick ass. Oh my god. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me. And us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Oh, thank God she didn't. Oh, my God. Oh, this is going to be a happy ending. Oh, thank you, happy ending. I needed this. Thank you. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Oh. Yeah! Good ending, good ending. Oh. <sighs> Alright, I, uh... I really like this game. Um... I like it in a lot of aspects. Um... I'm like, oh my god, I just need to collect myself. Oh, oh I'm tearing up. I thought I thought for sure. Oh. That's something this game did really well, is making me connect to the characters. Um, um, oh, jeez. Uh, I, I found, like... Okay, first... Okay, how am I going to say this? Um... This was game, a good game in so many aspects. In like terms of story, the story was was really good. Like it was a believable. I'm gonna exit out this music. Though. I'm just gonna. All right. So, <clears throat> sorry. I'll put. Uh, um, you can. You should play this game. Watch the credit. I'll, I'll roll the credits at the end. If I can, I roll the credits at the end.
No, I can't. But uh, I will put a link up to this game at the end of this video. Um, so, uh, this game was amazing in so many different uh, different ways. Like, the story was amazing. It was, it was believable. Like, this is something that could actually, like, happen. Like, a girl having problems with her parents, falling in love, like, with another girl, and just having all these problems, and that was an amazing story and like these it was like it felt like a real situation which is like like that's how like I, I feel like I was able to connect because I could believe this is something that really happened um there was also like the horror element to this game because like there was uh the house was like an old creaky house and it was like full of like all those sounds and like, there was evidence of there possibi possibly being, like, a ghost. Because, like, of all the of all the Ouija board stuff and ritual stuff and all that. And all that creepy stuff. Um, and it kind of made you feel threatened without there actually being a threat. There was, like, no, uh, there was no way you can lose this game except by giving up. Uh, which I felt like was a cool concept. Like, you were threatened... But there was never a threat. Like, it put you in the state of... Of, uh... Being threatened. And that... That's really... That's really cool. Um... Yeah, like... Um, there was just a bunch of other, like, little stuff that made this game good. Like... Graphically, it, it was good. Uh, the voice acting I loved. Um... <laughs> there's a lot of, like, little hidden backstories. Most of which I didn't touch on. Like, I, I wasn't reading through, like, all the letters and, um... Uh, like all the transcripts and all that stuff, which could have led to more stories, which I, I feel like I should have touched on. There was like the whole kind of like little evidence to like the whole marriage not working out kind of thing, which I first I, I want to say is some a sub story that's happening. There's uh, all the stuff to do with uh, Oscar, the stuff to do with Danny. There was the house being built. It was just wow. This game was this game was really good. Um, so, yeah, thank you all so much for, uh, sticking with me through this, all, all few of you, <laughs> uh, but thank you guys so much, uh, this is the first game I've actually beaten, wow, this was, this was a good choice, alright, alright, thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure, I really appreciate it, and yeah, I'll see you later, Good night, everyone!